Hey Canucks fans, Cole Lind will make his NHL debut tonight on the same day that Ryan Miller announces his retirement. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. It's my Canucks take on one take, it's Clay's Canucks commentary for Thursday, April the 29th. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. Shout out to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Justin Credible, Nuts fan number 29, Lucas Gates, Chris Seifert, and Adam Broomfield. Thanks for your support as always. And thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You're listed in my video description. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or any of my videos or on the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Thanks to everyone who joined me for my post-game live stream at 10 p.m. It was a post-post-game live stream, given that the game ended at 5, so you had 5 hours to mull over the game. I didn't. I was on the golf course, so I came into the live stream hot or cold, whatever way you want to describe it. Not having watched the game, but you guys did a pretty good job of filling me in, and it sounds like I did not miss much. Also, uh, miss much. Also, thank you to everyone who shared, retweeted, asked me about, um, liked the, the meme that is sweeping the internet nation, and hopefully we're able to use it a little more if the Canucks have a good game against Toronto tonight. Speaking of the game tonight, Colin was will make his NHL debut. Pretty excited. A lot of people wanting to see him play, especially the Canucks playoff chances continue to take big hits. They have to probably win 10 of the last 13 to make it. Highly unlikely. And uh, But as Travis Green says, he's not doing it just to take a look at Colin. He thinks that um, Colin is going to help this team win. Likely see him come in for Jace Harlock. Jace Harlock had a rough game yesterday. He was minus three in 10 minutes of ice time. So I I could see him doing one of two things. He could probably line up on the third line with Sutter um, or he could and McEwen, or they might even thrust him in a top six role with Besser and Miller, but then you got to have one of the Besser or Lynn play on the left side. So my prediction, my prediction is you go Horvat with Pearson and Hoglander, do you try Miller, Besser, and Mott for one more game? It, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. Then you place him on the third line, Colin, with Brandon Sutter and with Zach McEwen. And then you keep your fourth line of Boyd, Highmore, and Vertanen. That's my guess. My guess is that Colin comes in for Jace Harlock. And if that's the case, the natural position is third line right winger. You know, we're excited about this. Uh, we're excited about Colin. Uh, we've been... Uh, Wanted to see what he can do. He's got a nice combination of size and speed. I've always noticed him when I go to these prospect things or these summer camp things that the Vancouver Canucks put, put on. And, you know, he could be, they could be looking at him for um, a permanent spot in the, at least in the bottom six starting next season. So I'm excited to see what he can do and I'm excited to see where he'll play, but we probably won't know that until the the uh, line rushes right before the game tonight. The 4.30 start, by the way, Vancouver and Toronto. So, that's cool. Colin making his NHL debut. I'm sure there'll be a lot of eyes on him. As well, coming into the lineup is Jalen Chatfield. My guess is for Ole Ulevi. Ulevi got benched for uh, periods of the first and third periods. The time in the first and third period last night. Didn't look great on the first uh, couple of the goals by Ottawa. But um, yeah, so it's funny. The day after I'd make a vlog about how I think Ole Ulevi is going to be a solid uh, defenseman, he might not even get to play tonight. And if Chatfield comes in, expect Schmidt to f uh, flip back to the left side. So on the left side, you would have Hughes, Edler, and Schmidt. On the right side, you'd have Myers, Hamannick, and Chatfield. So maybe you go Hughes, Hamannick, and then you go Schmidt, Myers, and Edler, Chatfield. Yeah, I don't think you go Schmidt, Chatfield. So I think it's going to go Hughes, Hamannick, Schmidt, Myers, and Edler, Chatfield as your third pairing. That is my guess for the D. And then in net, it is going to be Braden Holtby. No surprise, regardless of how well or not well Thatcher Demko played last night. I thought, I, I said this before on Monday night, I said if, if Demko was healthy, you play Demko on Wednesday, give Holtby a small break, and then play Holtby on Thursday against a Toronto team who he beat twice when the Canucks came out of their COVID, um, their COVID pause. So that, there we go. Three lineup changes. Cole and in. My guess is for Jace Harlock. Jalen Chatfield in, my guess is for Ole Levy, and then Braden Holtby in, obviously, for Thatcher Demko. Speaking of goaltenders, let's spend the last couple minutes talking about the, the career of Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller announced his retirement today, said this will be his last season after 18 years in the league, and three of those years were with the Vancouver Canucks, 2014-15, 2015-16, and 2016-17. Now, Miller, uh, the Canucks signed Miller after they traded Roberto Luongo in March of 2014. So they traded Miller for Markstrom. I'm sorry, they traded Luongo and Markstrom was part of the package coming back. 
Eddie Lack basically finished off that season. Jacob Marshman got a couple games. And then for 2014 onwards, it was Ryan Miller's crease. As they basically had Eddie Lack there, but it was more of um, to to buy time to cross the hold the hold of the fort, so to speak, until Jacob Markstrom was ready. And we know how well that turned out eventually. Ryan Miller was good when he was here. He was very articulate. He was a good interview, uh, kind of quirky, but very outspoken and very well-spoken. And he played well, and especially in his first season here. That was a year where um, the Canucks surprised and made it to the playoffs um, under Willie Desjardins' first year. He started 45 games, and he won 29 of them. So won 29 of 45. That's outstanding. And then the next two years, I think his, his win totals dropped to 17 and 15 or 17 and 19 while playing in more games in his, in his uh, other two years. But of course, the team wasn't as good. The, the team only made the playoffs once under Willie D's tenure, and that was Miller's first season. So again, 29 wins and 45 starts in his first year. And while he was here, he was solid. There was no drama when Ryan Miller was in net. You knew what you were getting in him, a solid, positionally sound goaltender who was very athletic as well. And um, yeah, sometimes had to rely on his instincts like a lot of goaltenders do. It's kind of funny when you think of like American goaltenders like Miller and Jonathan Quick. A lot of those guys were our instinct type goalies. But yes, um, he was solid. He was solid with the media. He was solid with teammates. Very likable. I actually have a, uh, a Miller jersey. I didn't buy it, but someone actually gifted it to me, which is fine. You know, it's not my favorite jersey, but, I, but I, I, I've worn it a couple of times. But all to say, a wonderful career for Ryan Miller. 18 years in the in the league. Three of those with the Vancouver Canucks uh, culminating in, in five years ago. But overall, um, the the most wins by any any um, U.S.-born goaltender. We know that he backstopped the, the U.S. team to a silver medal in the 2010 Olympics here. But overall, great career for Ryan Miller and really appreciative and look back fondly on his three years that he was here with Vancouver. Well, hey, Canucks fans, time for a score prediction. You know, it's funny. The Canucks are coming off two losses to Ottawa, but they seem to play well against Toronto. They might be energized with Colin's debut. Toronto's just clinched a playoff spot and look to be finishing in first. So of, of all these things, I'm predicting a Canucks win. I'm going 4-3. I'm going away from my 4-2. I don't care what the score is as long as, as long as the Canucks win, but I'm going 4-3 Vancouver, and I can't wait to see what happens. If it's nice, I'm going to drag Jake out for maybe some intermission ping pong. Stay tuned for that. But otherwise, Cole in tonight, as well as Jalen Chatfield and Braden Holt be in. My guess is Harlock, Yolevi, and of course Demko out. What's your score prediction and what are you expecting from Cole in? Leave a comment below. I'll read, react, and reply as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Become a member of this channel if you'd like to. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day and enjoy the, enjoy the game. God bless and go Canucks go.